I'm Russ McCubbin, uh, president of International Ozone Technologies Group. Uh, today, I want to uh, teach you a little bit and talk to you about our Titan hydroxyl generator line. Um, just to preface this uh, training, uh, uh, the difference between ozone and hydroxyls, ozone is not safe to be around, using only in unoccupied areas. Hydroxyl is very safe to be around, true hydroxyls. Uh, you can use it any time. Uh, so if uh, people can get out of the area that your customer is, is working in, uh, Ozone will always do the job faster, but if it's in the case where a homeowner can't leave their home or a business can't shut down, uh, then the hydroxyl is definitely the way to go. It will do the same job as the ozone will, uh, but it will take a little longer. Um, we'll start off with uh, our Titan 4000, uh, which is the best uh, uh, hydroxyl generator on the market. We have been producing the uh, 4000 unit for pr approximately 12 years. Um, this machine uh, is a 26 by 26 by 12 outside diameter, uh, weighs in the neighborhood of 40 pounds. Uh, it is three machines in one. It has a 5000 CFM fan built in, uh, so it is an air mover. It has a filter on the back. Very nice uh, 20 by 20 electrostatic washable filter. Uh, washable's pretty important. Your customer doesn't have to uh, spend money to put a new filter in every time they use it. They just wash this filter and, and reuse it. Uh, and that uh, classifies this machine as an air scrubber. Uh, if you want to uh, take it farther and, and have a HEPA air scrubber, a 20 by 20 inch HEPA cartridge will fit in the back of the machine. And then you will have a HEPA air scrubber. And then the third technology is the air purification. Uh, which is technology that was uh, developed by NASA, the rocket people. Uh, if you uh, Google NASA and TIO2, you will actually see the technology working in the space station. Uh, not our equipment, but the technology itself. Uh, that tells you that uh, this technology is pretty safe. Uh, to take it a step farther, the people that worked with NASA had the uh, technology uh, classified through FDA as a type 2 medical device. And in the ver verbiage of that technology, it states that uh, this uh, uh, technology is allowed to be used in hospitals, including baby and neonatal wards. So again, uh, that just shows you how safe the uh, technology is, so you can use it anywhere at any time. Uh, what a hydroxyl is? Is, is a single oxygen, single hydrogen molecule. Uh, where we get the OH from is we uh, use humidity in the air, H2O, and with the photocatalytic process in this, in this unit, uh, uh, the Titans use UVA light in the 365 to 385 nanometer wavelength. Uh, that's a black light wavelength. It's, uh, the light, you can look at it. You can let it shine on you. It won't hurt anything. And the light by itself does nothing. Uh, the second uh, component in the equation is titanium dioxide. Uh, when you shine that wavelength light on titanium dioxide, uh, and by the way, titanium dioxide is the white powder on powdered donuts. It is the white in your toothpaste. So it's a benign substance that won't hurt anything at any time also. But when you shine that UV light onto titanium dioxide, it will do a photocatalytic process uh, which will make hydroxyls. And the way that works, the H2O in the air, we split one hydrogen off, that leaves the OH, the, uh, uh, the hydroxyl. Uh, hydroxyls are super reactive. Uh, that's what makes them safe. Uh, they cannot live longer than two seconds. Uh, where ozone has an average half-life of 20 minutes to an hour. Uh, so it can get uh, build up to unsafe levels, and that's why you, you never use ozone in occupied areas. But with the hydroxyls, you cannot build them to, to uh, unsafe levels because uh, in two seconds they're gone. That's why the 5,000 CFM fan, 5,000 CFM of air movement, is very important uh, to do a large area. Uh, you want to get those hydroxyls out of the machine and as far away away from that machine as you can in that two seconds uh, to treat a large area. So 5,000 CFM is a very important in, in a hydroxyl generating machine. Um, this machine, uh, the Titan 4000, is rated for use in 4,000 square foot or 40,000 cubic foot. Um, 
uh, we'll go into it. We'll talk about the lights. Uh, um, uh, there are other competitors on the market that, that make uh, uh, hydroxyl generators. Uh, the first important thing to know the difference between the two is um, uh, they use ozone in their process, most of them. There's three or four different manufacturers out there, and they will use ozone in their process. And you will actually smell ozone coming from their machines. Uh, in the realm of all things, uh, the element with the longest half-life is actually the, the element that is doing the oxidizing. So in the case of a machine that emits ozone and hydroxyls, the hydroxyls are gone real quick, but the ozone will hang around and do the work. So uh, most of the competitors' machines are just ozone generators uh, in disguise. Uh, our machines make o no ozone whatsoever. They are completely safe. Uh, our lamps uh, have a, a, a life of span of three to four years um, and have a, a, a replacement costs, a retail costs in the range of a little over $60 a piece. We have four lamps. Uh, the competitors out there uh, have two or three lamps. They get $400 a lamp and they want you to change them once a year. So we are much more economical. Uh, the cost of our machine um, uh, is in the neighborhood of $1,599 retail. Uh, the competitor machines are in the neighborhood of $4,500. So you can actually get three of our machines for the price of one of the competition. Um, uh, again, on the filter in the back, uh, the competition has no filtration whatsoever, uh, they ju uh, and we do. So uh, we are the three machines in one. Uh, the competition, as far as their fan goes, uh, their fan will move 600 CFM, where again, ours will do 5,000 CFM. Uh, as we discussed, the uh, humidity in the air is what makes the hydroxyls. Uh, so in this case uh, of the Titan, the more humidity you have entering the machine, the more hydroxyls you will produce. Uh, it's screen printed right on the front of the machine uh, that there's a minimum of 60% uh, humidity necessary for optimum performance. And that doesn't mean you need 60% in the work area, just 60% entering the machine. Uh, we found out something pretty neat, discovered something pretty neat that happens with this machine because uh, people were uh, concerned about putting too much humidity in the work area. Um, the humidity going in is hit with the photocatalytic process. So we have found out with 100% humidity entering the machine, uh, once it goes through the photocatalytic process and is converted to hydrogen and uh, hydroxyl, uh, less than 30% comes out. So in reality, the, the, the Titan actually acts as a dehumidifier that does not need a bucket to catch any water because no water drops out of the air. It's just the water is converted into a di different uh, molecule. Um, so we have an air mover, we have uh, air purification, deodorization, and air scrubbers. Now, uh, talking about the humidity, uh, we have developed a device uh, here. It's called the hydroxyl maximizer. What this is is an ultrasonic humidifier uh, that just takes plain water and produces a fog like a Halloween fog. Um, that you put behind the machine and it will put 100% uh, humidity into your Titan. Uh, what that will do is will make your Titan work as well as most ozone generators. So it will do the job as fast as most ozone generators. Uh, what a lot of people are doing with their ozone rooms, ozone chambers, they're converting them to hydroxyl room, hydroxyl chambers with the Titan. Uh, well, when you have an ozone room in, in your building, you usually only run your ozone machine at night uh, because they're never sealed well enough to keep the ozone from getting into the occupied areas. And then you turn them off in the morning, let it air out, and, and take your contents out. Uh, if you uh, convert it to a hydroxyl room with the Titan 4000, you can run the machine 24 hours a day, seven days a week, walk in and out, uh, never hurt anybody, get great results, and not have to worry about uh, things getting bleached that are wet or rubber being eaten. Uh, so the advantages of the Titan uh, are fantastic. Uh, like I said, we've been in the manufacturing field for 25 years, and the Titan we've, we developed about 12 years ago, but uh, it has uh, doubled our business in the last three or four years, and uh, we, j we can't keep them in stock. 
All right, now we're going to uh, talk to you about the hydroxyl maximizer uh, and, and show you how it actually produces the uh, cold vapor ultrasonic fog that it puts into the uh, Titan. Uh, as we said before, the, the, the hydroxyls are uh, single oxygen, single hydrogen combined, and where we get them from is, is uh, humidity in the air. Uh, the more humidity you put into the Titan, the more hydroxyls you will make, the faster it will do the job and the better it will do the job. Okay, the Titan is on. This is the back of the machine. It's pulling that way. You can see the humidity coming out here, but just so to show you how, how good or how it is, that's it. A nice, fine uh, ultrasonic mist, cold vapor mist that goes right into the machine. Uh, it will actually make your uh, Titan feel like it's on steroids. It will make it work as good as an ozone generator. Uh, there's enough water in here. You fill the water to the uh, red line. Uh, that's enough water to last three to four days running time. Uh, once it uh, uses up the water, it will automatically turn off.